All right, so the example I'm gonna show is uh, writing a code for uh, visualization. So I sometimes teach a class on transformers, which is a technology behind models like ChatGPT. And when you give a sentence to ChatGPT, it has to understand the relationship between the uh, words and so on. So it's a sequence of words and you just have to model that. And transformers utilize what's called a self-attention to model that. So I always thought, okay, if I can visualize a self-attention mechanism and uh, with some interactive components to it, it will be really great. I just don't have the skills to do that. So let's ask our new model, O1 Preview, to help me out on that. So I just typed in uh, this command uh, and see how the model does. So unlike the previous models like GPT-40, it will think before outputting an answer. So it starts started thinking. As it's thinking, let me uh, show you what are some of these uh, requirements. I'm giving a bunch of requirements to think through. So first one is like, use an example sentence, the quick brown fox. And second one is like, when ho hovering over a token, visualize the edges whose thicknesses are proportional to the attention score. And that means just if the two words are more relevant, then have a thicker edges and so on. So the one common failure modes of the existing models is that when you give a lot of the instructions to follow, it can miss one of them. Just like humans can miss one of them if you give too many of them at once. So because this reasoning model can think very slowly and carefully, it can go through each requirement uh, in depth and that reduces the chance of missing um, the instruction. So this output code, let me copy paste this into a terminal. So I'm gonna use the, the editor of 2024. So vim HTML. So I'm just gonna paste this thing into that and just save it out. Uh, and on the browser, I'll just try to open this up. And you can see that uh, when I hover over this thing, it shows the arrows um, and then quick and brown and so on. And when I hover out of it, it goes away. So that's a correctly rendered um, version of it. Now when I click on it, it shows the attention scores as just, just as I asked for. And maybe there's like a little bit of rendering, like it's overlapping, but other than that, it's actually much better than what I could have done. Yeah, so this model did uh, really nicely. I think this can be a really useful tool for me to come up with a bunch of different visualization tools for uh, my new teaching sessions.